How's it going, guys? Uh, Bluebird Gamer here. Welcome back to Brilliant Diamond. Where we last left off, I noticed in between episodes that this, you see that little bar in the bottom right, or kind of the bottom and the right side of the screen. That giant yellow thing with big, vibrant text on it and giant circles for where my Pokemon are supposed to go. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot to, um, I forgot to re-add that in. So, I went four episodes without ever noticing that it was missing, <laughs> but now here in the Candlelave Library, I remembered. So, we beat Byron last time. I think that was his name. I already forgot his name because he was a pushover. But, we're supposed to find geeky voices here. Ignore that voice crack. That was pretty bad. I don't know where this guy is, but he's somewhere. We're going to find him. What do all these things say? Please refrain from bringing food or beverages into the library. Do I have any beverages? Please say I do. I have milk! I brought milk into the library! What are you gonna do about it, son? Actually, I'm sure you're not in charge of the library. You're the wrong person to talk to about that. Hey, Bluebeard! Over here, this way! Alright, if you say so. Don't just pull my arm or anything. Oh, it's these people! Okay, Gramps, I brought Bluebeard like I said. And now I'm out of here! Wow! Really? Okay, I get it. Hmm. Everyone's finally here. Listen up. I don't remember what his voice was. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve, and others that don't. What makes them different from each other? Uh, base stats and balance differences, that's what. <laughs> Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Well, they just have really good base stats. They can't evolve into anything past that point, because that would break the competitive format. But, I think I see what you're getting at here. Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. There is said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. Why? Why, why would that shed light on anything? I, I don't understand. It's one thing if we're talking about, you know, Master of Time or Master of Space or something. But a Guardian of the Lake that's who's arguably not that powerful in comparison to a lot of other Pokemon? I mean, really? I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I, oh and who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give them one? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you and becoming a better trainer, too. You can Oh, you can count on me! It'll help with my Pokedex too! Ha ha! Flubber, you'll go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have I would have made all of you go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Don, you go to Lake Verity. Will do! Geeky Voices, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tr tough trainer to go. Well, then why are you sending him? This is Geeky Voices we're talking about. He's been stomped every time I've fought him. Uh, yeah, of course. Graves, you know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. I, I, what? <laughs> is that is that what kids say nowadays? I, I'm already out of touch. That's weird. And that leaves Bluebird with Lake Valor. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about the city. Okay, before I follow you guys, I want to talk to this kid and see if he has anything important to say. Bluebeard, hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. What do you have to say, kid? I'm feeling wobbly. Even though the tremor is ended, my knees still feel like jelly. Okay, well, that's that's fine, I guess. Do you have something new to say now? Before I knew it, I was looking at a book called Surviving Disasters. What do you have to say, ma'am? I have Moomoo Milk, by the way. You even commented on that. It wasn't me who screamed, Yeah! And I definitely didn't shout, Help me! No, really, that wasn't me yelling. Okay, I'll... If you say so. If you say so. Alright, let's find out what's going on here. Something weird is happening. Whoa, that tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hello, sir. Hey, hey! Old dude and kids! Something big just happened! They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor! 
Kaboom! Like that! <laughs> thanks, thanks, dude. Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. That geeky, that geeky voice just can't sit still. Bluebeard, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, won't you, Bluebeard? Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Are my Pokemon full health? I forgot. Okay. So now, we must fly! Fly over to here. There really does not seem a great way to get there. You think it's probably closer to Pastoria, right? If I had to guess from whatever call? I think it is. I admittedly do not remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, because this is where we chased that guy from who had a bomb or something. Which I have to imagine is what probably happened over there. But if I, if I could put two and two together, the, that, that bomb probably was not good news. Let's just go over here. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Oh, no, 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 this is this will work. This will work. Oh, I'm just stuck on the water because I am very smart. Excuse me. Wow, yeah, I was... This is a little bit of a longer walk than I thought. I forgot how far away this lake was from really anywhere I could fly to. Is this... This is the right way, isn't it? Still can't get whatever that is. I'd love to know. Oh. Is this not the right way? I forgot. S Sunny Shore City. How, how do I get out of here? This way? Oh, yeah, there's a stair. I just missed. <laughs> Good job, me. All right, what's going on here? What's all this about? What seems to be the ruckus? Oh, I need to check this. I've not been checking this. Uh... Is this their lame way of saying you have to go the other way? No, you can't come through here yet. There's a magic carp. No, there's not really anything to go that way anyway. What is with all these... Oh, this is a lake! Oh! Um... Goodness gracious, what happened down here? This, yeah, this was quite a bomb. Holy smokes. Um... I imagine this is that's where, I, where I'm supposed to go. Which means I have to check everywhere else first to see if there are hidden things. No, I'll just sneak in. You look familiar. Have we talked before? The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone, and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna City. I don't remember what your name is, pal. Hmm. Jupiter should be ashamed of herself, being beaten by a child like that. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm not expecting you to be that strong. Commander Saturn. Maybe I haven't run into this guy yet. I could have sworn I had. A Kadabra? Okay. How about I just earthquake you to dust? Oh, I'm still eating Lassie! I totally forgot about that. Uh, well, let's just bite him. Wait, the AI is smart enough to do stuff like that? Wow, what a smart lad. Look at that. Look at that! Look at the AI actually being smart! That's not something you see every day. Alright. Well, we're definitely going Captain Falcon. He's probably gonna hit me with some kind of fighting type move, which I'm not gonna really want to take too much of, obviously. But, at least I'm neutral, and I will be lowering his attack, so... Hopefully we'll be okay. I think this is his ace as well. Oh, you butt. My fly is a two-turn move. That's very rude of you. Um, right. Well, that's not going to be ideal. After I hit this guy and take him out, I'm definitely going to have to switch you out. Because we do not want to keep you in and just lose you to toxic damage. That's not ideal. Yeah, see, it's already doing... Did it always do that much? Goodness gracious. I feel like it used to do a little less, but maybe I'm just misremembering. Get wrecked, Toxic Croak! Got hit by Stab Fly from a base 120 attack stat. I'm gonna heal up a little bit from Shell Bell, not that it matters, because Toxic will outdo that. 
Man, he really crippled one of my best attackers. That stinks. Yeah, look at that. I can't outheal that. Kadabra? You know what? I'm actually going to leave you in. Because you can you turn out and do critical and do super effective damage to him. I think I'm faster than you as well. Yeah, I am. Bye-bye. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. Bye-bye. You stand no chance. All right. Well, there we go. That takes care of our toxic problem as well as doing really good damage. Look at that. I'll take that. Agility? No. No, you're already super fast. I like all those other moves. You're already so fast. There's not going to be much that outspeeds you. Who is this? Lassie. Stop changing that menu. I don't want you to. Uh, if I use, if I move after the target. Lassie's pretty fast. That's probably not going to be happening too uh, too often here. I use, I use U-turn, so let's bring in Ohm. Because if it's some, as long as it's not a ground type, I can just bolt switch out if necessary. Oh! Yeah, I'm fine with this. I have Magnet Pull, so Bronzor's stuck in here. And I can just mess him up. Let's just Thunder Wave his face. Now he's paralyzed, so that that's pretty nice. That is not as nice. Man. We're confused we're having, what, something like 55 accuracy or so. The AI seems to land it a lot. Nice, we got the Thunderbolt off. Bam. Nice, and there we got that paralysis. One more Thunderbolt should do it. I totally forgot that he was my Steel Trapper. You can't learn Flamethrower, right? If you can learn Flamethrower, he would just be insane. I guess it's good that he doesn't have Hidden, hidden Power Fire anymore, because that just shreds Steel types. He can't learn Flamethrower, right? I think... Do I have him pulled up in here in Serapy? I don't think I do. Uh, let's do... Magnezone. They, they should give him Flamethrower. That, although that would maybe make him too powerful in his role. So they'd, they'd, they'd probably ban him from things like smoking if they gave him that. Uh, I mean, he gets Sunny Day. Yeah, he really does not get the kind of coverage moves that you would want him to get. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Yeah, yeah he really doesn't. That's a, that's a shame. Magnet Pull is such a good ability. But... If, you're, if you want to take advantage of it against Steel types, you basically have to have Fire type moves, Fighting type moves, or Ground type moves. And he gets very little of those in BDSP. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will, will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will fight. We will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Where'd he go? He just vanished out of existence? So, is the Pokemon still here? Or did he take it? I have to imagine he took it. Okay. Well then, let's uh, let's try to get out of here because... Oh wow, there's still just such a mess going on here. I don't want to have to fight you. I'm just going to wait for you to turn. Go on. You know you want to. Turn, I said. Turn! Aren't I supposed to turn? You were turning before. But no, apparently he's not turning now. I don't quite know what to say about that. A galactic bomb, apparently, is what he said just went off. Oh, that's right! Captain Falcon is still critically injured with Toxic. I totally forgot about that. Alright, Lassie. You can do it. Although, well, this, this isn't exactly a premiere matchup for you now, is it? Let's just, uh, let's just do that. And res double resist flying, as well as being immune to poison. So, Golbat stabs will be absolutely useless. Okay, I don't, res I don't resist Ghost, but I mean, it's Astonish, so... I'm not that worried. Let's just Thunderbolt his face. Bye-bye. Sayonara, and Krogunk. Alright, well, 
Yeah, it's a crow gunk. We can we could probably I was gonna say we could close combat him, but he will resist because of poison, so. I think we could take a little bit of toxic damage, maybe. I don't know. How tough do we really think Crow Gunk is going to be? How tough do we really think he's going to be? Because he double resists both of these. I'll take an extra turn of toxic damage, but I don't see that being that big of a deal. And we dodged a revenge, so I'll take that. And ba bam! Get wrecked, son. Get out of here. Get out of here, Krogunk. No one likes you. Now the question is, is that poison gonna still be hurting me as I run around? Because I don't want it I don't want it to, obviously, but if it is, then that's a bit of a problem. Alrighty then, let's... I, I keep forgetting that Lassie's in the front. We need to fix this. There we go. Alright, and... Man, this place is a... Wow, this is a very weak way of get... Yeah, I, I was kind of joking earlier really about the magic Magikarp thing blocking me, but no, that's actually the case. They just have... Nine Magikarp. I, I, yes, it took me a little while to count that. Shut up. <laughs> They just have nine Magikarp, all facing the exact same direction, barely any variation in the, in the frequency with which they're flopping. That feels kind of lazy if I'm being honest. Surely they could have at least have had them flopping in different directions or something. You're trying to tell me that that explosion caused all the Magikarp to fly up in the air, but also for them to all land at the exact same, in the exact, facing the exact same way. Lake Verity. Yeah, isn't that down here? Yeah, that's back all the way over here. I'm gonna go back to Twin Leaf Town. Talk to my mom. I'm surprised. I didn't think I was actually gonna talk to my mom for the rest of this game. But, uh, no, we're actually paying a visit. Yeah, how goes it, mom? I've beaten six of the eight gyms, so my I'm already almost done with a good chunk of the story. But, uh, I, I really just came back. It's like when people come back to their parents' house just so that they can have their laundry done and eat some food. That's basically what I'm doing in this game. <laughs> that's basically what I'm doing. Gosh, poor mom. Alright, uh, let's just bring out our bike for a very short period of time. Zippity doo doo da, zippity day. There we go. Oh, hello, Rowan. How goes it? Ah, Bluebeard, what timing! Those Team Galactic Scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. Where is she? Oh! Wait, well, yeah, I. I honestly kind of thought that was Dawn hiding behind the trees, but I, I could see why there would be some confusion on that, I suppose. Two Team Galactic Grunts, eh? A Glammeow and Silcoon. Well, here, here, I mean, here's the thing. Um, neither of you are fully evolved Pokemon. I have an Earthquake. And my teammate here is immune to ground, so... Yeah... Let's just, um... Yeah, let's just go with that. <laughs> let's just go with that! I'm not particularly worried about this fight. Oh, wow! Silicon actually survived! I'm genuinely shocked! I think it resisted, though, because, uh... Bug, I believe? I think it's just pure bug, isn't it? Alright, well, we're gonna Earthquake it again because the Stunky's on the field. We may as well. Get wrecked. Get lost. And good riddance. And look at these levels on this team. So beautiful. Beautiful stuff, guys. Beautiful stuff indeed. And the Earthquake, which will now just tear up the stone. Bye-bye. Alright. And a Glammeow? Okay. If you so if you say so. And another Glammeow. Alright, well, these guys are really wasting my time here, aren't they? I'm gonna have to call it after this fight. Good grief. Just close combat, the suckers. They're Glammeows, for Pete's sake. Oh, 
and you're gone. Man, you would have thought that they would have at least have had, would have had some Perugly, but no, apparently not. There's a lot of Glammeow who have pretty pathetic stats. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so I have to point this out. Captain Falcon is immune to Earthquake, but still take, still moves as if it's getting hit. That just... I know that's, that's mainly a game mechanic thing, but I'm gonna be honest, that, that, that just feels so lazy. Why in the world are they doing that? Now, uh, he double resists both. Alright, just close, just... Oh, I accidentally hit close combat. I meant to hit fly. That was an accident. Well, and I have now lowered my defenses, so... Golbat could potentially do some good damage to me. He double resists both of my attacks here. Air Cutter. Oh, and that's a group attack. Wow, that still didn't even do that much. <laughs> Golbat is just pathetic. We'll just fly since that's not double resisted. And that will probably get him, honestly. I mean, this should get him. Just, just do Razor Leaf, I don't know. You missed! Oh, come! What?! What is this?! What is this now?! Good grief, this chair. I, I, I may have to, uh, it makes, makes a ton of noise now. I may have to just get a new chair soon. But that's besides the point. Alright. Man, the fact that I missed both attacks, that is... I mean, I've gotten pretty lucky with uh, with Razor Leaf in the past, so I shouldn't... I shouldn't be... Uh, I, I shouldn't hold it too much against the game that my luck finally ran out a little bit, but that's unfortunate. I know I could just have switched to Magnuson and this would art. I missed Fly again?! What the heck?! Isn't it something like 95 accuracy and I missed it twice in a row? Dude, what the hey? That Golbat lasted for way too long. Okay. Well, that fight dragged on for, what was that, four minutes or something? I'm gonna have to call it there. In the next episode, guys, I could actually just surf on the water, but I won't. So, ha. <laughs> Maybe I will next episode. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, we're gonna be probably messing with Team Galactic some more next. I don't really know what's gonna happen, so we'll see. But until next time, this is Bluebird Gamer signing off. God bless America.